Yo, what's crack a and folks? It's me, Justin, and today I'm going to be talking about programmatic SEO, kind of 101 for affiliates, and what I've learned as an absolute beginner. I'm not, you know, some, some guru expert crazy dude. I've tried this out. It seems to work. I'm going to continue um, working it and kind of just put this out there. So if you, if you're wondering about, you know, programmatic SEO and, and how it can work for you to make some scratch, uh, here you go. I got the camera up there because I like to stare at myself while I'm talking and that's right below the camera. So it just works. So what is programmatic SEO? Uh, it's, it's used to generate hundreds and thousands of pages using data, or in my case, doing affiliate marketing type stuff, it's used to generate hundreds of thousands of pages using existing content. Um, cool thing about programmatic SEO is it's very low effort as far as creating new posts. So it's less about search volume and more about being the resource when someone does a search, no matter how often that is. Um, so it, it could be something that they only get, you know, it, a page might only get five clicks per month, but those five people are, you know, typically ready to buy. They, they're at the point where it's like, okay, I know what I want. Uh, and it essentially boils down to putting the data in front of the visitor so they can make an informed decision. It's less about you trying to sell the product and them knowing about the product and just want to comparing it or just want to compare it to another product that they've been doing research on or um, finding they don't like the product they're using now. So they're looking for uh, other products that are similar. Um, additionally, the final point is it's less about writing articles, which I know, you know, if SEO to affiliate kind of, uh, lane is typically long form articles. Um, and it's more about data entry because the, the articles, so to speak, are created for you as opposed to you going in there and, you know, punching out 1500 words or outsourcing, uh, those words to a, a writer or an agency. And I'm not going to actually talk about how to do this, just more what can be done uh because there's many ways to go about this you can use webflow uh you can code your own you can use some kind of what i did was a, a gross amalgamation <laughs> of uh vlookup concatenate um in google sheets and also reusable block short codes and now um also doing like some kind of auto posting using Pabli or, or Zapier or something like that. And I guess my phone's listening to this. Uh, so I actually go into more detail about the Google sheets, um, plus, uh, auto posting. If you search dear diary, the no code programmatic SEO tool works. Um, my video should pop up and that should be me going into more detail about how I got that to work. So onwards, um, some examples of sites doing this now and how they're monetized. Uh, of course, Zapier, and I have screenshots soon uh, after this. Uh, Zapier, which everybody should know about, uh, some of their biggest uh, pages, I guess, or, or some of the pages they rank for are like software integrations. So, you know, if somebody searches for what software does SEMrush integrate with, um, they'll probably pop up. What software does HubSpot integrate with? What's hub, what software does Google Sheets integrate with? Uh, and of course they're trying to, they're selling their SaaS Zapier. Uh, another example is like Captera or G2 or GetApp. And I think Captera and GetApp or maybe, yeah, I think Captera and GetApp are both owned by Gardner, which m makes them unfuck withable. Um, so, they do like SAS comparisons and alternatives to pages, user reviews, things like that, like an alternatives to SEMrush, and they get paid via PPC or sponsorship deals. And um, yeah, you, if, if you've ever searched for any uh, reviews for any software you use, you've probably stumbled on one of those sites and there's hundreds of uh, kind of competitors. Uh, one that you should be looking at is one called technical.city and they, it's product information typically, or precisely exactly uh gpu comparisons and they of course are an affiliate site so uh go check out technical.city go look at their like rankings and their search traffic they're like two million searches per month and all they're doing is again presenting data to the users and then uh if you know you might have watched this video before this video uh depending on the timeline and how many programmatic seo videos are out there in the world uh failery uh they created pitch decks um like how much or what was Airbnb's 2008 uh, seed round pitch deck. Uh, and that's of course, so they can filter those users to their newsletter. And 
that is less of an affiliate approach and more of like a Mad Lib style uh, page creation, which is, you know, an op option where here's a big old data set for each of these uh, pitch decks. All they're doing is plugging in, the, you know, the, the proper noun, the name, the the year, the, the how much they earned, what round it was into pages and it's all done like automatically just based off uh, that data set. Um, and of course, if you do a search for creating a programmatic SEO operation with no code, uh, I think MicroConf, uh, they have a video with the uh, the founder of Failery. So again, all right, so example of kind of their last approach, and this is how Zapier is doing it. If you read this text right here, and the whole page is built like this, Zapier lets you connect SEMrush with thousands of the most popular apps, dot, dot, dot. Now Slack, Zapier lets you connect Slack with thousands of the most popular apps, dot, dot, dot. Same exact kind of page layout. All they're doing is ex replacing the proper noun uh, or the name of the software. So good to go. And here's the technical dot city. Again, all they're doing is comparing multiple uh, GPUs here's the here's the uh the data okay here's the architecture type here's the here's the the release date the launch price the price it is now the i don't know gpus so i'm not going to try um but any technical stuff that a computer nerd would need to know about a gpu it would be on here it's a they're very long posts it's just a huge data dump formatted uh data dump and then at the top it's like you know check the price now or buy now from amazon so and some of my own examples of um i guess for one of my sites i didn't do this automatically it was a programmatic but manual publishing um attempt so to speak uh here's the verse articles up here you can see over the last six months again not a lot of volume as far as search but they get the most click-throughs um as opposed to like uh I don't know, review type posts or uh, information articles. And then here's the alternatives down here, a little bit more volume. Uh, and I didn't want to show the kind of chart because this spike is just way more pronounced in the alternatives page because there's just some stuff that happened um, when that spike happened that uh, made those pages incredibly popular for a few days. And the spike is massive. You're going from like 200 clicks per day to like 3000. So it throws off the entire chart. So it works. And again, both of these are done not with original content. They're using content from other places on the site to build um, unique pieces of content because I'm comparing two different things. Uh, so again, insights, much lower volume of traffic for these, these posts and pages. But the click-through is much, much higher. And I believe it's because of the search intent. So if you're writing posts, you know, 10 best, uh, microphones for YouTube videos. You have to educate the user on what, you know, what, what makes them, this microphone good. Why is this microphone the best, whatever you have to convince them, you have to sell the microphone to them. Whereas if somebody's looking for alternatives to this mic or this mic versus another mic, they already know about the product. They're just looking for the pure information so they can compare it in easy to way fashion. So it's, um, for microphones, uh, feature does it have noise canceling whatever yes this one does no this one doesn't well i really need noise canceling so out of these two that i'm already looking for i'm going to buy one of them this one has the information i need i'm going with that one or this one has the feature i need i'm going with that one so i think that's makes it easier to quote unquote get the sale because you're no, you don't have to sell it you just have to present the information to them um so some of the posts you could create uh, as you, you know, figuring out what your niche is, what your industry is, uh, you can do alternatives to uh, a type post, for example, the best alternatives to SEMrush. I know what SEMrush is uh, because I'm looking for an SEO tool, but I don't like SEMrush for whatever reason. I'm using it now. What other tools are out there that are like SEMrush? Oh, Ahrefs. Oh, Serpstat. Oh, SerpWu. Oh, this, that, this, that, that. Um, a versus B type posts, you know, SEMrush versus Ahrefs. Oh man, I'm really tossed up between SEMrush and Ahrefs. Um, but I, you know, which one would be better? Let's go look at all the features lined up. Okay, this one has link tracking, this one does not, or not link tracking, but you know, rank tracking or link tracking or backlink tracking, whatever. Okay, this one has historical data, this one doesn't. Okay, I need historical data, so I'm going with this one. Um, the best product category with feature, kind of going back to the previous was, hey, the best SEO tool, tool for with rank tracking. I need rank tracking, 
I don't know what tools offer that. Here's the seven that do. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, the best, of course, you know, the best under dollar amount. That's, that's, you know, people being cheap asses. <laughs> um, and then maybe the, the kind of over overall, just like review type posts where you're just kind of doing the, uh, the, the Zapier way of just plugging in the proper noun and then plugging in all the information about that. You don't have to, you don't have to talk about your, your personal encounter with SEMrush. It's you're not doing a review. You're saying, here's what you need to know about product. Um, and then, you know, whatever else is important for what you're promoting. It's all depends. This is all, listen, these aren't, this isn't the definitive guide. We'll say, this is just a, this is my ideas this is what I've used. And I'm sure there's a ton more that you could, but for right now, that's what I've come up with as a beginner. Uh, let's do some quick math on why you, you know, why this could be viable for your uh, affiliate empire. Uh, so say you just take one vertical, just one vertical. You find 11 products that you want to promote with 15 possible features each. So uh, you want to do the SEO tools. You create 11 review posts the, or, you know, everything you need to know about SEMrush, Ahrefs. You do 11 alternatives, the you know 10 best alternatives to SEMrush. And I, I say 11 products initially because that way you can have top 10 list of alternatives. Um, you could do more, you could do less, but that's kind of a good place to start is 10. Um, you have the alternatives too. You have 55 verse posts. And the math behind that is like you take the number of posts you have, square it, subtract the the original number of posts, and you divide that by two. So 11, 11 times... Uh, Oh, did I do the math wrong? No, no, it's fine. 11 squared is 121 minus 11 is 110 divided by two is 55. So, uh, there's your number or, you know, 11, uh, you can do N times N minus one all over two, which would be 10 times uh, 11 times 10, 110 divided by two is 55. So you have 55 verse posts, HRS versus SEMrush, HRS versus SERPstat, HRS versus SERPWoo. Downline, my camera, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. I think I'm just going to blur. There we go. Uh, and then depending on, you know, what the features are, you could have those feature posts, um, SEO tools with rank tracking. And then whatever ones have that, you just plug in like a summary. This one has, uh, these, these, these SEO tools have rank tracking. Block, 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 block. Summary, 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 summary of each. Now, so mathematics, say you're outsourcing or you're writing yourself. So if I were to do it this way, and well, this is how I do it, is I only outsource, I outsource the 11 kind of product overviews slash reviews. And that'll give me ever all the data that I need for every other post that's generated. So 11 reviews at say 2000 words each, uh, three cents per word. It's about $60 per review or $660 in total. So I'm paying $660 for 92 original pages on the website, original posts. Um, now, if you, let's say you outsource 92 posts, uh, 1,000 1, words each, uh, three cents per word, you know, I'm paying about $2,700. That's, you know, in your pocket, $2,100 that uh, you didn't, wouldn't need to outsource because they're there. And again, if you go, trust me on this, go, whatever your SEO tool choices, go look at, whatever your vertical or niche or industry, a product, not uh, the industry, but pick a product. Go find the Sennheiser E835, that's what this microphone is, verse, and type that in. If you're using SEMrush, which is what I use, the keyword magic tool, the just E835 verse, and then search that. And you will see all these alternatives, or all these you know alternatives to this microphone, and they'll have you know, 30, 40, 50, 10, searches per month and like 11 keyword difficulty score because it's, nobody's really doing it, but people are searching it. And I mean, it's not, again, it's not a, this is a volume play by all means. This is a volume play anyway. So 92 posts outsource for $2,700 or if you write a post per day, you will be writing one post a day for three months to get the same results because to be quite frank, writing some kind of original, oh, well, I, you know, I wrote every single word myself. I will never outsource, you know, good. 
that's good for you. You do that. But you're the bottleneck. <laughs> I don't want to be the bottleneck anymore with mine. Um, so that's that. Now, one of the concerns with programmatic SEO is doorway pages. Um, and this, this is like taking programmatic uh, and being a dirtbag with it, basically. Uh, you, you see this a lot with like, uh, let's say SEO agencies where they'll create, uh, do the whole, uh, the, the proper noun game where the, you know, the, if you go back to the example with the, uh, Zapier Slack and SEMrush integration pages, well, instead of actually creating a, a useful page, plugging in those proper nouns, they'll create a page where it is the exact same page. They're just replacing the, 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 like, again, going back to SEO agencies, uh, replacing the city. So it'll, they'll create one page and they'll just replace the H1 with, you know, best New York city, New York SEO agency, best Los Angeles, California SEO agency, best Houston, Texas down the line for 3000 top 3000 most populated cities. They're essentially going to the exact same page. They're just changing out the city. Don't do that or, or do do that if you want to, but understand that you're playing a, a shit game with a shit tactic and you're going to lose. Uh, we're not creating those. We are creating something that's actually genuine, genuinely useful for the end user. We're just not doing it manually. There's a huge difference between the two and, and understand that. Um, so you know, as long, again, as long as you're creating something genuinely useful for the end user, you, you probably won't have to worry about doorway pages. This is the doorway pages are like, you have to be a super duper scumbag type tactics to, uh, <laughs> to get dinged for something like this. So think about your use case and whether, you know, are you creating something genuinely useful for the end user or are you creating something to rank for, well, various regions and cities? Um, are you just trying to get people, uh, are you trying to recreate the same page 10 times? Are you trying to just reword uh, SEMrush uh, review and then SEMrush uh, overview and then SEMrush uh, everything you need to know and just rewriting the same thing three, 10, 50 times. Think about it. that. It's, it's not a difficult concept. Um, and I guess this kind of wraps it up. I have nothing to sell you yet. Maybe someday. I don't know yet. Um, I, I am having a plugin designed and created to do this in WordPress. Uh, and I don't know if I'll ever want to sell it, but maybe I will. I know it's like a whole different game going from being an affiliate and kind of just, Hey, I'm just pumping out articles or pumping out pages to, Oh, we actually have like engineer, like software engineers on staff that I have to you know, like <laughs> deal with and support tickets and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure it would be more lucrative, but for something like this, like this isn't, this isn't no $50 a year, $50 a year plugin. This would be like $500 a month type shit. Like some you, this is, this is, this has the potential to change my life and it will. So with that being said, I don't, again, I don't know if I want to sell it. I don't know if, I don't know. It's not, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, do the whole YouTube stuff, you know, subscribe, at, subscribe and like, and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Comment, comment. If you think I'm an idiot, comment. If you think I'm cool, <laughs> comment with your experience while using programmatic SEO. I don't know. Uh, let me know. Holla.